Alaskan glacier is on the run, posting surging ice speeds up to 100 times faster than normal, scientists have found. This is by Sputnik Svetlana Kimenko, 39 mile long Muldrow Glacier. It's perched on the side of Alaska's highest peak, the Denali, previously known as Mount McKinley. It was last seen on the move in 1956 to 57, and at that time it advanced over four miles. A glacier in Denali National Park is experiencing what experts refer to as a surging event as it's moved between 50 to 100 times faster than normal. A once-in-a-lifetime geologic event was posted March 4th, 2021 by K2 aviation pilot Chris Palm. And he tweeted, What a picture! The Muldrow glacier, glacier is surging for the first time in 64 years. Means it can move anywhere between 10 to 100 times faster than normal, which is causing all the crevices to form. Luckily, the normal climbing period for Denali does not start until late next month. So there are people that actually climb this thing. He was flying on the north side of Denali. He noticed some unusual topography around the Muldrow crater, Glacier, perched atop the tallest mountain in North America, formerly known as Mount McKinley, with a summit elevation of 20,310 feet above sea level and located in south central Alaska. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetize my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Now we know that we've had tremendous record high temperatures in Siberia and north in the, in the Arctic. Even the permafrost has, has been melting. Look at this thing here. This is a lake in Russia bubbling over. The methane has been bubbling, bubbling because of the fact that the permafrost is melting rapidly. But concerning this, after taking photos of the uneven crevice landscape, he sent them to a geologist friend. Crevasses could prove fatal to climbers attempting to ascend the summit of Denali. He said, I was looking at the glacier and I was thinking it looks really difficult to get onto the glacier right now. It's all shattered and torn up and jagged ice and deep crevices everywhere. Palm was quoted by the Anchorage Daily News as saying. And acting on the pilot's tip, the National Park Service confirmed that the glacier is in fact experiencing a glacial surge event moving around 30 to 60 feet every single day. Seesaw surge, outward evidence of the slumping ice is manifest in large previs, uh, pervasive crevices forming throughout most of the glacier, and due to the rapid flow of the glacier of the surge, the crevices reflect increased deformation within the glacier. Glacial surges are really strange events. They are these things that have fascinated geologists for decades. This is what John Kingslake has, uh, explains. He's an assistant professor of environmental science at Columbia University. Previously, Muldrow uh, Glacier surged in the 1950s when it moved four miles in a span of a few months. Kings Lake said, the whole thing is flowing very slowly and then suddenly it accelerates and that can cause a glacier at higher elevations to thin and then the ice slumps down to lower elevations. Then that happens and it slows back down and the material at lower elevations starts to melt and the ice near the top thickens and the whole thing repeats. It's doing like a seesaw thing. Now there is no, nothing surprising about the surge as most of the world's glaciers are constantly on the move, flowing at rates of millimeters per day and retreating and advancing with the seasons. But a rare percent of the glaciers in specific ge geographic areas like Alaska and parts of Tibet experience cyclical periods when their movement speeds up faster than normal, following, followed by a period of rest. And it's these movements that are referred to as glacial surges. Out-of-balance glaciers, the jury is still out as to what exactly drives these surges. As ice builds up near the tops of the mountain glaciers, their temperatures are colder, and the ice that melts flows down slope and become trapped near the bottom of the glacier. Over time, the glacier gets out of balance with the ice rushing forward. 
Recent research also suggests that meltwater could serve as a lubricant to help free the ice, creating glacial surges in some areas. And the surge of a century was witnessed in 2012 when the Austfona ice cap, Europe's largest ice field, gushed water during an autumn surge event. Climate has also been uh, believed to be a factor uh, uh, affecting glacial behavior. Now, let's not forget, Alaska is full of volcanoes, and Denali is uh, one of the areas that we have a very tremendous fault there. We had the Denali earthquake a couple of years back. It was very devastating. So, And the Aleutian Islands are all, of course, volcanic islands. So it could be that there's something hot under there as well, causing the water to melt underneath the glacier. Perhaps that's also causing the glacial surge. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.